Hey everybody! Yes, online. Whoa. All right, we're back um, in the workshop, and uh, it's been a while. How I had like a fairly uneventful Christmas. Um, it's what happens when you live alone and such. <sighs> But such as it is. Uh... Alright. I'm actually running low on these. Might need to coil up some more and order in some more brass. Okay, so we have all this to do. Um, let's get started. So once again, we've used up all the chain mail links, uh, weaving it throughout the week. Now we're back here. So how do I do this? Uh, yeah, I need the mold. That's the 0 0.5 one. Have I lost the other? Have I lost the other one? Surely the other one's around here somewhere. No, scissors are here, but where is the mold? I swear I had a mold. Do I need to make another one? It's just, I left it around here somewhere. Uh, oh, so I'm gonna have to make another one. I'm gonna have to make another one. That sucks. I don't know. What, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Ah, I stuffed it into my. Um... Oh, found it. It's all right. Everything is right with the world. Hey, what's up? Uh, hi, the Ravage Woes. What's up? Get Rex Scrub. Hey, hey, everybody. How's it going? Um, so we're trying to restock on like uh, I, I, I um, so throughout my, the holidays, I was just. Throughout, throughout like the the Christmas break, I've been um, chainmail using up my chainmail, and I don't have any links left in the jar, so we're here making some more. So, so just need to figure out how, where we're going to start. All right. So first of all is the masking tape. So we're going to wrap this coil and masking tape. Right, that, that's all right. Roll, roll, roll the dirt, twist it at the. Oh, I've got to get rid of that. There's a bit of ex excess on the end, so I'm just going to cut it off. And 
as a bit of an excess here too. Well, now I'm good to go. Uh, is that, well, it just doesn't have to be neat, so don't have to like do the perfect roll. Hey, it's the same you start streaming at like midnight. It's sideways, flip your um I could flip it, but that means you get a lot less I could flip it, but it means you guys get a lot less resolution. Um because you know, like I could I could flip it, but you'll like it won't be HD anymore. And um I've this is like uh I'm I'm trying out a new uh, layout so even though it is sideways um, I think you'll appreciate the big the details but if enough people complain don't like it um, I'm happy to change it back it was uh, vertical before but I feel like everybody watches on their mobiles anyway so it shouldn't be a problem if uh, it's only a problem for PC users, are you saying? So I'm heavily banking on the fact that people might be just watching on mobiles, which is why I chose to do it sideways. You see a lot more, and it takes up, I think. It's just, yeah. Um, I'm trying to make it work, guys. Okay. But uh, if, if it is... It's also sideways when you flip your phone. Um, <laughs> it's also sideways when I flip my phone. Um, so like, I don't know if you, if you have this feature with your phones, because I can actually look at it on my phone as well. Oh, you're watching yourself, watching me, watching yourself, watching me. Um, but I have, I have a feature on my phone that um, you can turn off like auto rotation. And when you do that, can just view it sideways and it doesn't correct the only the only problem is is if you try to chat you have to hold it the right way up um but other than that problem i think it's fine so so let me know what you guys think of this layout i feel i i personally it makes it easier for me um i'm just trying to give you guys the best viewing experience <laughs> But if you do, I guys don't like it, I'll change it back. And... This vice seems a bit wobbly. Ooh, did it cut through? It spat out a couple of rings. Ow. Looks like it cut through. Uh, kind of screwed up at the end. That's okay. Yeah, it's fine. <sighs> All right, chain mailing.
but I'm running low on my stock in the raw wire as well. I'll need to make another order tonight. Get another roll of wire in. Takes a while for them to deliver as well, so. jump all right just catching up on chat here lock the layout in it's fine cool all right yeah i'm sorry about the uh, um the time i start i don't really can't really control um control it that much it's hard being in australia but it's the midnight show But you can always watch the recordings. You can always leave a message as well. I'll always try to respond so don't feel left out. Um, if you want to talk about specific parts of the uh, video offline, I'll uh, just remember to include a timestamp so I know what you're talking about. Just a lot of sawing. That's a bit too short. Hopefully it doesn't ruin the cut. Speaking of which, I probably have to want to stock up on some steel rings too, but uh, it's not there yet. I want to f focusing on getting this uh, brass weave finished so I can start using it. Oh, 
Oh, DB from YouTube. Oh, hey, Ravager Swords. You prefer the, uh, <laughs> you prefer the Reddit, the Reddit layout? It's kind of weird. Um, it's, it's kind of janky, but, uh, it's, it's where I get the most views. So I hope it's fine for everyone tuning in on Reddit. How's it going, DB? You were dropping some weird questions last time you came on. How's things, man? Are things better? Things, are you feeling better um, from the last time we spoke? You were kind of down as well. So how are you feeling? Things are better now that's about <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry uh, I'm sorry I wasn't here on Christmas. Um I'd like to say I was busy with family, but all my COVID COVID in Australia like is cancelled every uh, people are I know like it's a serious thing, uh, you know, trying to get through it and contagion and all that, but uh, I think like I think some like I think we're all, like overly cautious of it now. Um, I thought it, I thought it was okay for me to visit WA um, with COVID. So like, um, yeah, COVID in Australia canceled my holiday plans. My sister was going to come down and see me and I was planning to take her camping and stuff. But then Sydney had to get sick again. And then uh, my sister's boyfriend was uh, too afraid to come down. Uh, basically, like because of uh, quarantine rules, um, like anyone from Melbourne um, visiting, visiting New South Wales, my, like, they thought there would be a risk in being hotel quarantined. Um, and if that happens, it's $4,000 to quarantine in a hotel. $4,000 is a lot of money. So, and they're all, they're both students. So that's, that's a million dollars to an um, a, uh, university students so in the end uh they didn't want to take the risk to come down for christmas so all of my plans were out the window um also like before sydney got sick uh i had to well i always try to make an effort to visit back once a year
Yeah, um, I was trying to make an effort to visit back once a year. So even before Sydney got sick, I couldn't visit home. And on top of that, what I meant was like people acting over paranoid. Um, my mom, back because she thought it would threaten my job security because, uh, because I have to hotel quarantine. And I, uh, I said, well, I, there isn't really risk of that because I work from home anyway. So I could work from home, from home, like WA kind of home. Uh, but she forbade me to come back. Felt, I felt conflicted at the time. It, it kind of hurt right there, man. Like right in the, right in the, right in the heart. Cause, uh, cause that, when I previously tried to come home, um, she didn't, it was complicated, but she didn't want me to visit back then either because, um, she didn't want to see the state of our house. It's complex family issues, but basically dad issues. I, I have problems with my dad. And, uh, ever since leaving home, um, my dad took over my room and made it into his personal junkyard. He's got a hoarding problem. And uh, it's complicated, but basically because I hate the fact that my dad is ho a hoarder. Um, she, she's always finding an excuse to stop me from visiting. And it gets lonely out here, man, like uh, trying to make it by your own. And I realize the fact that my mom's not going to be around forever. So I, I also want to see visit family and friends and hopefully I can visit home. Um, but, uh, it, it just hurts every time, every time my mom finds an excuse for me not to visit. This year it's, like I've told her about this, but every time she, um, my mom gets into the habit of when I say, Hey mom, I'm visiting home. She never gives me a warm welcome. She always says, don't come home. And it hurts every time. Last year it was last year it was the hoarder issues and then now it's COVID COVID nineteen. And every time she says that, it, it hurts a little more. Yeah, so, so that was a mood for my, oh god, it just, just splashed all these rings everywhere. It's like Sonic died. Just rings everywhere. Ah, yeah, but it hurts every time. So, uh, mixed feelings this Christmas, but... Uh, didn't get really get up to much, just still doing the whole samurai armor thing and uh, other projects, working on a, like a software project as well. Um, yeah, not much, just another day. It's not really a celebration for me, which I, I wish it kind of was. Um, I wish I had Christmas to. I wish I could celebrate Christmas with somebody. You can't celebrate it alone. But it's the unfortunate reality for me. I wish I had those family Christmases at home. But I've never had the chance to. Yeah, that's excess and you get rid of. All right, we finished that coil. Let's start another one. Uh, so yeah, I'm catching up on chat. I don't remember what I said last time, but you're probably right. Oh, no, I just remember that you were, um, 
<laughs> you were dropping some weird questions like <laughs> you wanted to know what, what, what my favorite porn actress was and I'm like I don't really have one but I threw out a name anyway it's like the only name I remember like I'm gonna be honest with you when I'm what when I'm in the mood and watching those kinds of uh, uh, internet videos um, I don't really pay attention to names Um, but of the few that I do remember, uh, I, I'll, I'll tell you. Is that, is that what you want to get into with today's, uh, today's topic of conversation? You want to get into porn actresses? Okay. We're rolling up another one, boys. This one's a fat one. Let's change the angle slightly. I lost, I lost, I lost small and taste. Oh wait, what? I did go through a nasty bout of COVID early in December. Oh man, I hope you're okay. I lost, oh, small. <laughs> I think you mean smell. It was like, it was a hard to sleep yet hard to wake up. A nasty cough as well. I see. Are you over it though? Or do you still have it? Because, um, I know I'm no doctor, but, um, I, I've had those symptoms before because, uh, had like mild asthma. So my, um, my airways, which reminds me, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to buy like a a, a ventilator. But uh, my airways like uh, would periodically seize up as a kid. Um, like when I say seize up, it would constrict, or like the uh, mucus buildup in my airways would constrict the airflow, so it was hard to breathe. Um, so this might help you. Um, there is a there is a thing called a ventilator, which is like a small handheld pump. Um, and basically, like uh, you, every it's sort of like an air freshener. You press it down, and it and it shoots out like vapor. But the vapor medicine, when you breathe it, is absorbed into your airways, and it um, chemically enlargens the the airway. So. It's how, it's how, like, asthmatics avoid attacks. Um, so, even though I'm not asthmatic, I do sometimes feel difficulty breathing, and, um, and a ventilator always helps um, in opening that airway back up. So, I know it's, I know medical treatment is expensive in America, um, but I think you can get one of these over the counter. So, try it. So, try it if it's available to you uh, without too much cost. I did lose a few pounds due to it, so not all bad. Oh, okay. That's good. Cool watch. Sorry to hear. Yeah, it's 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 complicated the Christmas thing, and it happens every year. Um, I wish I had a girlfriend to spend time with, better than family. True. <laughs> Although it's a lot more work, I think. Family's a lot of work too. I want to like uh I think when I once I had a girlfriend and um I think the thing I missed most was um having the freedom to spend that time. So look at this as an opportunity, man. Like you can finally have enough time to spend on hobbies and things. Nice. 
Nice. All right. Um, I don't know if you can see the language I sent, but if you can see, let me know. I did see the language, but I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means. Um, you're going to have to help me out. <laughs> I, 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 can I copy that? I'm looking at it now, but... Oh, wow, I didn't know you can expand chat like this. Okay, so I've uh, expanded chat. Um, I, I can see the characters, I just don't know how to translate it. So... <laughs> you remember that, sorry. I <laughs> remember asking what my favorite porn actress was. Um, I know a lot of Asian ones. That's just my preference. So don't kink shame me. Um, Jesus loves you all. I hope so. Um, I recovered well. I did quarantine. Good. Nice. Didn't need to be hospitalized for either. Would have cost a ton of money in America. I'd imagine so. I thought, like, um, health insurance was supposed to cover everybody. Thought, like, health insurance was supposed to, like, be good and stuff, but... I don't know. It's weird. America's yeah. Just uh, I hope you guys get healthcare soon. And I, I I don't know why you guys keep voting against it. <laughs> um, you're wasting resources on trivial things. No one's gonna wear armor unless it's Kevlar. Uh, sure. But unlike unlike America, no one has guns here in Australia. In fact, like, this type of armor is going to be more effective in Australia because um, we, have, uh, we have stabbings instead of shootings. People get stabbed and punched all the time over here. So it's just not as bad as getting shot. See, the thing about guns is it's too quick. You can't savor the little emotions. <laughs> And when people are faced with imminent death, they really show what kind of person they are. So in a way, I knew your friends better than you ever could. Would you like to know which ones were cowards? See, in Australia, guns, they're too quick. I can't savor the little emotions. So, in response to that, um, it's actually more effective here in Australia because um, this armor is designed for, for stabbings. We don't have guns here. We don't have... Uh... Ooh. Yeah. That's, also, that's also always a downside working with this kind of method. Um, kind of shoots off the, the ring on the end. Um, okay.
I'm sorry, like, uh, this is usually busy work I need to do, but this is the whole, this is the full experience, damn it. I'm not using edits to cut out the boring stuff. This is the real, how you would really uh, make chain mail. And yeah, samurais don't wear Kevlar. <laughs> if I stop commenting, it's because I fell asleep to the stream. That's cool, man. I'll see you on Friday. And I'm glad I could help you sleep. I'll see you in the morning. And as you sleep, I'll just whisper Joker into you. Now, uh, it's a uh, Joker here. I hear uh, you're dreaming about me. At that, 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 uh, this is my hat. Tell your men they work for me now. Am I just pushing the table too far? <laughs> like, uh, I have... I'm, 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 I'm like pumping the saw, so I'm, it, it slowly it moves the bench, kind of. Which is why I was trying to correct it, but I overcorrected, which also kills the uh, camera angle. See that? The jar was empty, and now we've got like a fair few. <laughs> Guns kill people, people don't kill people. That's exactly right. Which is why we should ban people. Um, uh, this is, uh, Brack Bunk. Uh, I would like to propose to the Senate that, uh, we, uh, ban people. Guns don't kill people. People kill people. Therefore, we should ban people. I will create a bill uh, that will uh, that will have a lot of people control, and we will get make sure that there uh, that every household will be reduced to no people. Oh god, I'm dropping a lot of rings. This coil is not going well. Got a lot of picking up to do. Oh, there were so many spat out in that last coil. Sometimes that's unavoidable. 
Um, but I, my theory is, is because I'm sawing the coil, it heats up, which makes the, uh, which makes the glue on the, on the, uh, on the masking tape very weak because heat just melts the glue and it doesn't stick anymore. So it loses integrity. So I have to cut it fast. If I don't cut it fast enough, glue melts. Otherwise it will be picking up a whole bunch of rings off the floor. See, so like there's only half a coil in here. Paper didn't hold it in at all. Yeah, it's also also like a very dirty end to that one. So I think I have to cut the coil with a bit of speed. Did you ever hear about that story in Brisbane where someone went on a rampage with a toy gun and didn't know at the time it was a fake one? And Queen Street was promptly evacuated and they got shot by rubber bullets. <laughs> I didn't hear that one, but I heard like more legendary stories of like people, like a bystander, like stopping a robber with a milk crate and um, a shopping trolley. Another one who stopped it with a shopping trolley. Those were the real legends. Stopping the danger with milk crates and, uh, and a shopping trolley. Uh, that, uh, that's, that's Egg Boy. So Egg Boy was like, uh, just a teenage kid who just egged a politician who was saying a lot of racist stuff. <laughs> and the amount of positivity he got back was great. I dropped a ring. And it happens way too much. There it is. There was only one this time. Yeah, I think my theory is correct. Um, if I cut it too slow, it'll just fall apart. <laughs> Didn't mean it as a as a as a pause man. I love his streams. Oh, thanks, man. Also, hi, lit. Oh, litfish. Good to see you, bud. Litfish. Oh, is my flower done? No, it's not. Thank God. You wouldn't be able to see anything anyway. Uh, how's it going, litfish? How you doing, man? 
We're just restocking up on uh, links. You've seen this before. I dropped one. That's all right. It's just one ring. We're in tear volume vis business. <laughs> if you sleep, it's because of the dew, beautiful cutting sounds. Yeah. I've never really known anyone who's really slept to the ASMR sounds of a workshop. Usually it's uh, kind of noise too noisy for that. Oh wow. Guess we've got like a bit left over. That we may have to just cut by hand. How's it going, Lipfish? How are things in your world? Ah, get in there. That's what she said. What is this dude? I must be loaded of mushrooms. <laughs> what is this dude doing? He must be loaded of mushrooms, just like you. Ah. Samurais only eat shiitake mushrooms. They are the most magic Japanese mushrooms in the world. You know, shiitake mushrooms is what makes Mario grow big. I am making um I'm making chainmail links. slowly shifting that way. Huh. So... Bad that dude. Stop. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know if we could pack in this final bit of coil with another piece of coil and cut it all together. I don't know if we could do that, but we'll try. As long as we pack it tight, it should be no problem. All right, let's wrap this. See if we can uh, see if we can still saw this little piece of coil and pack it in with another one on top. God, we, ah, oh, all the rings went everywhere. Just everywhere. Ah, oh. I think that's everything.
Yeah, I think we broke this one. That's not good. <sighs> I'm still spitting out rings. I think I need a bucket or something. Uh, okay, so we've got a couple of rings coming out the end, but the rest of the coil isn't fully cut yet. Okay. Hope this will turn out okay.
I think some of these turned out fucked up. Eh, that's fine. Okay, next batch, we're almost done with this. We only have like a little bit to go. So much progress. What is the deal with this? Why is it not working? Oh, there it is. I don't know, it felt dull. It doesn't appear to be dull though. I don't know, Maybe it's just my imagination. <sighs> okay. That turned out a lot better. I think I think the best way to cut this is if the uh I think the best way to cut this is if I cut from forward to back, so just slightly tilt it downwards. So the last ring I cut is the one that's closest to me. So I think that's the better what the better way to do this. The cut the cut turned out pretty good. So I just got to remember to tilt it forward slightly. So the la the ring on the back is the last one cut. So goes hee haw. Yeah, I know, right? I don't know what that weird sound was. And I was also smelling smoke for a second there. Was I rubbing against the wood way too, too much? I don't know. I don't think the saw is dull. It's still got teeth on it. How are you guys doing? Impact of Reasons, Freeze27, welcome to the stream. Uh, we're almost done with this. I know it's not interesting to look at, but we're almost done. Filling, cutting through all these. We only have like uh, this much to go. It's not much left.
God damn it, I keep doing that. The end of the ring always pops out. And I have to go searching around on it for it on the floor. Made quite a few. Almost done with this. What time is it now? It's only 8.30. Been at this for an hour and like 90 minutes. Uh, let's be a witch. How much time? Got 27 minutes left. All right, that's fine. Double or multiple spacing? Um, how do you mean? Because this Zuri is a beautiful look. This is solid. <laughs> well, we try. Um, Kusa Zuri is uh, do you, is not this. This is not Kusa Zuri. Kusa Zuri is um. Uh, where did my plates go? Um, really? I thought I had a whole bunch of these. Oh yeah, they're over here. Okay. Um, oh, they're done painting. That's great. All right. So I'll show you what Kusazuri is. This might need another coat. Uh, Kusazuri is is a uh, is the plates that hang off your waist. It's called a tacit, but it, in, for samurai armor, it's kusazuri. So this is what kusazuri is. Uh, usually, it, uh, these are the plates um, that hang off, you know, your um, your waist, and it protects it protects the region between your your stomach and and like basically your crotch area. Um, and usually we have, we have this one last set today, but I don't think we're going to lace it today because we still need to paint over this. And as you can see here, the finish on this is not too great. It's, I don't know if you could see that, but it's slightly yellow and I'm not sure why. See, look at that. That's, then needs another, see, look, look, that, that shadow there, that's, that's actually yellow. Or it's not even, so I might have to go over this again. So we might not get to it today. We might just paint it and wait for like Friday. Um, but then again, we could work on the other ones. So we have like a few sets to work on. So we can just work on the other ones. But um, actually, we could just yeah, we'll, we'll keep busy. We'll keep busy. We, um, we can, there's a couple of, we have like six sets. We've only done like two out of this. So, um, so yeah, plenty of work to do. But at the moment, I want to restock on this, uh, chain mail before I leave here tonight, because this is kind of what I take home and I'll be able to like work on during the week. <laughs> So it looks like I have to paint that particular set because there's rusting and I removed the rust, sandpapered it all off and repainted it and it needs another coat. So, you know, it's just another day in the workshop. I want to build a robot that could just do this for me. But it's a lot of complicated steps to build these rings. But still, if I had a robot to do this for me, 
That'd be so great. I might think about doing that. And then I'll be able to like just sell chain mail because I've got it automated. So that'd be nice if I could uh, automate uh, chain mail making. But that would require a lot of time and design work. I know I'm not looking at it now, just coming in on your title. Oh, I see. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. Just coming in on the title. Right. Well, now you saw what it is. Kusa Azuri is, um, is the plates that hang off that we'll be working on tonight. We're currently trying to restock on our pile of uh, rings so we can work on chain mailing. Um, I promised to do a chain mail stream tonight or well, not tonight um tomorrow uh, i've been skipping the chainmail streams just just to do it by my own and just watch netflix or whatever but i'll promise to do a chainmail stream um tomorrow so you know what it's like <laughs> Is that done? Feels done. But it felt kind of weird towards the end. Ah, oh, it's done. Ugh. Have you heard about the new piece of medical engineering called knee gears? No, tell me more about those dead knees. What's that all about? Knee gears? Is that where they replaced knees with gears? And then it's all, you don't need muscles there anymore. You just have um, servos. Is that what it is? I don't know. All right, we got this one last piece to get through tonight and then we're done with chainmail restocking. That is gone, mum dead. I see with your parents not around, you're up to no good. <laughs> yep, I guess so. My, my parents, my mom isn't dead. Um, oh wait, you're talking about talking to that guy. I thought you were talking to me. Um, <laughs> you guys are just in your own world, but I don't know what knee gears is. Don't know what you're on about. If you're trying to make me say a bad word, uh, I hope you had your fun. You're, you're trying to bait me, aren't you? Thank <laughs> you. 
He's right. Without his mom and dad, he is up to no good. I don't think that's a thing in medical engineering, but uh, I hope it turns out for for well for everybody. I hope I hope like they won't hoard it in America, and it'll be available to everyone regardless of their uh, color. Ugh. All right, that's tight. Uh, we're probably just going to get rid of this tiny little coil. Oh wow, it cuts faster too if you tilt it forwards a lot more. What have I been doing with my life? All right, we're done. That's all the rings tonight. We've converted three coils. Happy with that progress. Oh, it's a good stock up. So we got half a jar of um of rings that we did tonight we'll be make turning this into chain mail if you want to know what that chain mail looks like i'll share my instagram and you can see like um one of the finished or well, almost finished pieces so you can see what i've been doing with these rings if you want i'll share the instagram but otherwise uh we're just gonna leave that there okay on to kusari At least that's what I hope it is. I think it's Kusazuri. Kusari, I think, is um what is there's ku yeah, it's Kusazuri. Oh. Alright. Let's pack this up. And put the mold back. There's plenty of work to be done. Um, let's see. I'm going to get some paint out of my car. I'll be right back. Because <sighs> we're out of paint. And that is why I bought some. Oh, yeah. Um, before I go down, I'm going to throw away a few things. <sighs> piece by piece, I thought I'd throw away... Um, some plastic that's been building up in the space. So that. Be right back.
All right, coming back up. <clears throat> All right, need to put that uh, new coat of paint on. Just real quick, so we can actually lace it together next week. Maybe we'll clean up some more plates. Oh wow, there's a ring. All right, just gonna go for a quick spray paint of those plates I showed you earlier. Uh, but the window is still stuffy in here. Yeah, it's a little, looking a little yellow, guys. Yeah, this could use a do-over. It also needs the front done as well. Only do one side at a time. Uh, unless we did some magic. Can we do magic? I need a rack of some kind. I wonder if there's a rack I could use. Um, yeah. I'll set it up next week if I need it. I didn't think I'd be doing a lot of painting. I'll just do one side at a time. Could... These are pretty good. Look kind of weird not to have them with the same finish. They look okay. I may as well just, I may as well give them the finish anyway. Uh, okay. Oh, all right. May as well make the set look good. If we're going all in, we're going all in. Hmm. Honestly, I want to hang hang it with like some wires, but this will have to do. So we'll just do one side at a time. It's gonna. Uh, needs needs the same finish. These ones look terrible. We'll do this side first. Uh, both sides could use some work. Uh, I may as well just do all the same side. Do the other side next, like Friday. All right. So we're just. Spray painting, no traditional anything happening here, just painting. Get you the super close up. Just using like spray paint. I don't know how to make the traditional mixes, so I'm just gonna have to deal with that. Okay, 
also need to do the other side. Should have thought about this more. Cool. All right. Let's wait for those to finish. Um, move on to the next set of Kusari. I need a system, honestly, because I keep thinking back to this. But after the code on the back, we should be fine. Okay, um, yeah, we'll just work on another set, I suppose. Just figure out. Ooh. Okay. Oh, where are they? I thought I kept them all in this bag. And I did. All right. This is a mempo. Hmm. I don't know if I'll salvage this. Got plenty of armor pieces to work on. All right, let's take a look. I wonder if I. I wonder if it's possible to. I suppose I could delace all of these today but they all I think these look different from the ones up there for a start there's five plates over there and there's only four of these so I can't use oh wait there is five yeah there is five okay so maybe I could sub in one of these sets for the front and, well, for the back and get the back done. But whilst that's, you know, drying, I'm just going to compare these real quick. I hope, I hope they did the cheap thing and didn't redesign the front and the back plates. Just give me a sec, I'm just going to eyeball if they're the same. I hope they are, because we could just move on. They look the same. So I don't think they're gonna, I don't think anyone can tell the difference if I used one of these back, well, this is meant to go on the front. These are the front plates that, these plates were meant to go on the front. But I don't think anyone can tell if I moved them on the back. If I swapped one of the back sets and the front sets, I don't think anyone will be able to tell. Okay. <sighs> All right, um, if that's the case, then we'll just pick the best looking one of these and we'll, uh, it could use a touch up, honestly, with the paint. Use a touch up. None of these have any real damage. Like the reason why I had to repaint that set was because there were bubbles of, okay, that, this needs a bit of a clean. Um, there's a bubble, there's bubbles forming underneath the paint layer, which means there's rust underneath, and if there's rust underneath, you need to clear that shit out, otherwise it's going to destroy the entire plate. There's a few bubbles here too, so this might need a clean. Yeah. I think this, this set might be the best. There's a bubble forming here. Uh, it is, it is as I feared. All of them are pretty, they have a little bit of rust on these and require a bit of a repaint. Okay. 
Oh, uh, may as well just get to work, I guess. Just de delace all of these and uh, clean up the rust underneath and then repaint them. Hey, it's Carbonix, otherwise known as DJ Halo. Welcome to the stream. How you doing, man? How's the uh, how's the security shift getting through? Okay. How's it Christmas? Merry Christmas. So we're currently just taking out all the lace for these. These comments are everywhere. It's, oh, wow. Ball reveal? <laughs> what do you mean, ball reveal? My oh, man, I really enjoy watching you make chainmail. Is chainmail one word? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it is one word, and it's spelled with an E on the end. Chainmail with an E. All right, well, then I'll, uh, I'll do a chainmail stream tomorrow. Hopefully you're there. I mean, like, I do it sometimes. Otherwise, I get burnt out if I do it every day. I mean, I used to stream every day, um, but it was too much. I needed some time for me. Oh, these comments are everywhere. Yeah. All right. Well, it's good to know that I'm not the only one getting special attention to talk about knees and gears. All right, got to restart stream. Got to restart stream. Are we live? Is this rolling? I hope it's rolling. Good, it's rolling. All right. Hmm. It's a bit dirty. I think it's sand that off. But it's the best looking one of the bunch. Uh, there is some rust bubbling going on here. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Yeah, uh, looks like we won't be able to lace today. We'll be spending today cleaning up lacings.
Wow, why isn't that coming out? It's because they glued it. Goddamn corners that they cut, they glued it. De-lacing, de just pulling all the laces out. I mean, I could well, cut them off, but I think this is easier. Okay, that's unlaced. There are some rust bubbles. I have to deal with those. Alright, time to get the chisel, some sandpaper. I don't know if you could see those, but on the surface, you can see tiny little bubbles like uh, here. Not really perfect. See like little bubbles on the surface. That's rust. 
And if we pop them, they'll bleed like uh, brown. It's always a sickening color. So we're going to scrape off the paint. See that? See how it's instantly brown? It's because the steel has turned rusty. If we leave that there, it's just going to make things worse. So to make this last a while, we're going to pop these bubbles and get uh, the rust out of them. does mean that they will need to be repainted. I need something underneath to stabilize it. Okay, so that's that bit of rust dealt with. There's another bubble here, or bubbles there. Oh, that's that's a pretty bad one. Ugh. And you can see real close, uh, real close, like how much rust is on that. I don't know if you pick up that it's brown, but it is. Can't really convert the rust back into metal, so we're just gonna have to scrape it off, basically. Which means that you know. There will, there will always be more bubbles. But at least this will slow it down somewhat. It's really... I don't know how like the rust is getting through. Yeah, it's a big bubble right here. I hope that's just a paint bubble, but I can't be sure. This is a paint bubble. Can't leave rust alone, otherwise it'll just spread like a cancer. I'm just hoping it's old. That's why there's all this rust underneath. Hopefully I won't see rust in my lifetime.
then we peeled back enough of the paint and just I don't see any other bubbles. There's like two little specks here that I want to try. Looks like paint. Looks like it was just paint after all. Okay, they weren't bubbles, they were just, just paint droplets. But it's okay. Like Even though we thinned the protection there, we will be painting it over so it'll be fine. I hope that's just a paint droplet as well. No, nope, it's rust. Uh, it's definitely rust. Oh boy. Covered our entire infestation here. Oh boy. This could go deeper. Worrying. Okay, that's ready. Surface of this looks okay. Could use a touch up of paint. That's kind of dirty. I'll just clean that up. Good for painting. Bubbles here. It's a bit dirty. It looks all right. Yeah, we're never, we're not gonna lace today. We gotta clean all this up first. Yeah, that's alright. Ah. Oh. Yeah, this this could use some work. It's 
quite a bit under there. Yeah, I think that's pretty much repaired. It's <sighs> like a bubble here. Mm-hmm. Wow, that runs deep. Hmm. Maybe I could have all these painted and ready. Yeah. All right. All right, let's paint these. That's clean. Happy with that. Let's paint them. Ooh, okay. I want to check the drying times. I always cycle these.
wonder how long it takes. Uh, humidity will slow. Still not telling me like, oh, touch dry in 19 minutes. Okay, so that's pretty much the end of the night. <sighs> we didn't do these too long ago, so it'll definitely have to be next week when we get to touch these again. I wonder what is a good surface to to paint on. I want to try like I have some card. Another set. Uh, yeah, let's work on another one. Let's keep keep churning these out. Hey, Yul Yuledimir, <laughs> Yuledimir, hey, hey, how's it going? And uh, DJ Halo, welcome back. How was the shift? How was the security shift? Uh, I tried to catch you before, but you were not here. How's it going, guys? Uh, that's the wrong angle. I see you guys. What's up? Mm -hmm. uh, working away on on the armor again. It is another Tuesday night.
Oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday, man. How old are you now? I don't know what I can do here for your birthday. Maybe you'll think of something. <laughs> happy birthday, man. And happy Christmas. You were born on like the 29th of December? Is it the 27th? It's the 29th. Man, you are born way late in the year. If it takes nine months for you to be born, that must mean... Parents did the deed in March. What is there to celebrate in March? Unless, like, uh, they had a very late um, uh, uh, Valentine's Day, which I guess that's kind of March. Happy birthday, my dude. Do, do you want me to laser cut you a happy birthday? I can do that. I can laser cut you a happy birthday. Getting old, four days after. 29th. Oh, uh, yeah. Last year, I was, I was able to drink. <laughs> yep. I could laser cut you a... Uh, I could laser cut you a penis. And it goes, happy birthday. You're one inch longer. <laughs> do you want that? I'll do that right now. We have the, I'll just boot up the laser cutter and uh, laser cut you a happy birthday. And then you can clip it and it'll be there forever. Uh, otherwise, I'll just keep working on this. I can boot up the laser cutter and, and cut, your, cut out a penis. We'll do a reverse James Bond, where we use a laser cutter to create a penis, not cut one off. That's a lot of rust under there. <laughs> you want I got Razer Chroma keyboard and mouse, so I'm playing with those right now. Yeah, there's well that it's a good keyboard. I mean like uh I used to have a chroma, but then I moved off. But it was like my choice of keyboard. Um, I had that keyboard uh, for for five years, I think. Yeah, had that for at least five years. It's a good keyboard, but then it had like started having weird ghosting issues. I hope it doesn't happen for you. So is that a go? Is that a go? Is that a? Do you want me to laser cut your penis for your birthday? I can even mail you, <laughs> mail you whatever we cut out, so do that too, for your birthday. You wanna? The lights, my, the lights, my man. Oh, yeah. I have a vision. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I still, I, I have an RGB keyboard, but it's the sound for me, like, um, the Razer, I believe, has a, uh, the Razer has like cherry blues, very high clicky, very noisy. Like uh, whenever you're on Discord or whatever, it's gonna. Whenever you're on Discord, it's going to. It's gonna be heard through your bike. Oh, 
That's uh, not getting in. It's a lot of rust to to just sand out. You picked the silent option. Oh, yes. They made an orange key one, which is silent. Oh, so you don't. So you got the orange key one. I got the I got the black the black one which was super clicky. I like the clicky noise, man. It's it's, it's the it's the sound it's the sound a hacker makes in the movies. Happy birthday! I hope. Uh, Hope you have many more. Hope it's spent with families and friends, and hold them up, and hold on to your family and friends, man. Like you'll need them, especially like when you. It beats being alone. I'm telling you that. Uh... It's almost all the rust gone. I'm just. Needs a bit of attention over here. Don't see any rust bubbles on this side. I don't know, I think that's a bit of rust that I could just sand off. They made an orange key one, which is on. I do too. Okay. I like, the, yeah, I like the clicky noise, man. Oh, so you got the clicky one. Excellent choice. Well, you said you got the silent one, so. You're missing out, man. The clicky ones are, um. Clicky ones are the bomb. So, a happy birthday. Uh, let me know if you want a laser cut penis. Otherwise, we'll just keep hacking away. Cleaning this shit up. That's my life. Like, at work, on stream, just cleaning up after people's shit. So did you want one or not? Otherwise, oh, it's just happy birthday, I guess. Hey, Lou, answer me. Do you want it or not? But we don't exactly have all the time in the world here. Oh, okay. All right. Let's do the birthday thing. 
<laughs> oh man. All right. I don't know if I can read that. Can I read that? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see if I remember how to operate the thing. Hey guys, what's up? Just gonna adjust the uh, focus. Whoa, 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 the camera's going crazy. Okay, let's do this. Happy birthday. All right. I think I was getting tired of making plates anyway. Ugh. All right. Oh, let's figure this out. All right. First, we've got to design it on this PC. Check the valves. Valves look good. Turn it all on. I think I can find some scrap board around here somewhere. Uh, do you want, yeah, I'll make it out of wood for the wood. Just so you know, guys, uh, we just turn this off. Oh, it's on. Surely. Wake up. All right, cool. What about? I think we're there. Uh, all right, we got a bit of wood for your wood. <laughs> uh, we're gonna design it first. So, close up on what we're doing here. All right, let's see. Um, how long is this thing? That's what she said, right? Um, where's the tools? We got the tools here. All right, first of all, got to figure out how much we got here. I think we got about 30 centimeters, 30 by 20. Uh, let just got to figure out like how much stuff we got to deal with here. Okay, we'll start at origin zero. Then we need by 30. 20. All right, bit 30, 300, height to 200. All right, just to see what we're working with here. I want you to trace, I want you to frame that. Oh, well, that's pretty close. Yeah, it's pretty close, I think. I think we got a little bit more room, so we're gonna go for the two. Go for this, just make it a bit larger. So this is our working area. Down a bit. All right, so that's that's roughly our size of wood we got here. Any any fonts you have in mind? 
Okay, I think we also got like a bit more bits as well. We're trying to get you the biggest size penis. We're, we're doing some cost optimizations here. We're trying to get you the biggest size penis for this amount of material. Yeah, it's, it's working better. I think we got like a couple more centimeters. I think we got like a 220 here as well. So right now I'm clicking frame. So the laser is physically moving around the board to show us our print space. I don't think I uh, just need to move this down. Okay, just want to frame that again. All right, that's probably as much wood as we're going to get out of that. All right, so we can put any fonts. Do do you want like a, some like fancy calligraphy? We can do that. Um, happy odd. Why is it like that? Oh, what what the hell? Okay, just want. I get some. Job origin. That seems fine. Happy. Do you want? All right. Do we have? Do we even have fonts? <laughs> all right. What fonts? Fonts do you want? Uh, we got Arial. Yeah. Um, we're gonna make it like super, super fancy. All we have is anything on here, really. Oh, we got some super fancy. Uh, very fancy. Do you want fancy or just block print? What do you think? Block print? I don't know. Uh, I'm trying. Uh, I'm not at my PC at the moment, so you're gonna have to send me another message. I'm opening chat nowish. Oh, I'm reopening on my phone, so I won't be able to see like old messages. <laughs> so, hello, come on. What font do you want, buddy? We could go for like super fancy, we'll go for block print, go for impact. What preference on font do you want for your uh for your happy birthday penis? But bear in mind it has to be like basic. Otherwise I have to download new like a new font. Happy Birthday. Do you want your actual name or just just Halo? My man, one o'clock. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. Happy birthday. All right, let's just center it here, and then <gasps> we'd center it like here. Yeah, that's. I don't know, would you have a Comic Sans? Oh, you want Comic Sans. I wonder if you have Comic Sans. All right, I'm seeing your messages come through. All right, you don't care? Do you want your real name or do you, do you want, are you just happy with, with Halo? Uh, I'm trying to find Comic Sans. Oh, we do have Comic Sans. Here we go. Happy birthday. Do you just want Halo? And then now we just or draw this penis thing. All right, let's just do that. And then, da, 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 da. copy paste these. 
And then I wonder if I can edit. Can I edit this? Uh, convert to path. Is that possible? Uh, I don't have to draw it manually. Fuck. Ooh. No. That didn't work. Okay. I'll just draw it manually, I guess. No. It's not what I want. Actually, can I? Can I do that? Do this, and then select the path. Ooh, we can. Okay. Can I delete that? No. Uh, how do I remove vectors? This is really weird. Can I move particular points? Nope. Uh, actually, can we? One this circle. All right, cool. Um, all right, cool. Eh. Can we merge pods? Oh, okay. Let's try something here, and then this, and then this. Nope, not like that. This, and then this. And can we merge these? Oh, awesome. All right, cool. So, and then I'll just get one of these. Right. And then we merge those. Oop. Merge these. Nice. Getting closer. And then. Oh, you want Halo. All right, cool. Halo. All right, sweet. And we got it. We got this. This is basically it. Uh, I'll make that bold, maybe. Uh, can we make that bold? No, there is no... Oh, bold. Yes. Italics? Yes. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. So this is, this is how you do projects. Happy birthday, Halo. Um, and then gigantic penis, uh, do, 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 do. All right. I mean, it doesn't have to be a penis, but like basic I think I think you need more balls. Um, just, just, you know, just more balls. What do you think? More balls, bigger balls. I think bigger balls. All right, and then like we got to get the ball to shaft ratio just right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and we'll just merge those. Yeah, it looks right to me. Um, okay, just make the head here. How does this work? I think it needs um, yeah. All right, tell me how I'm doing. Oh, let me just put that there and just give it a bit of depth. Just needs a bit of depth here. Just. get that, you know, eh. just give that a bit of depth there, we'll just merge this, ah, uh, it just doesn't look right. I need to shrink this a bit. Get up here. Uh, 
I merge that? Oh, looks okay. Got to get a sharper crest. Shop a crest. All right, and merge. Hey, and then maybe just a line. I don't know. Just a line here. That's it. Perfection. We all right. Oh, um, so that there. done. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> all right, let's see this. All right, well, you can clip this. This is my happy birthday to you, Halo. We are going to cut it out on the, the laser. All right, get you the super cool. Just because we're rebel, I'm not going to put the um, safety hood down. All right, so here's the wood for your. Do you want the front? Yeah, best seat of the house. Okay, just get you that camera angle. Oop, just trying to. Just the camera tripod here. It's not exactly in front. All right, best seats of the house. I don't know if it will actually cut with the hood up, but we'll try. Okay. Um, Z. Oh, camera angle. Nope, nope. That's not how it's supposed to be, camera. Yeah, sorry about that. Um... I uh, want to cut some layers. All right. Speed, power. Then we need to go to the library. Optimize cut path. Fine. Um, pass count, shape properties. Line. Oh, it's going to be a line. Okay. All right. I mean, we could fill it, but line is uh, cutting the lines out is way faster. Um, now I need to go new file list shape properties. Nope. Uh, library. That's the thing I want. Okay, I think I'm cutting through basically balsa. Uh huh. At balsa. Three mils, I think that's about right. Cut. Sign to layer, good. All right, and then. All right, I think we're almost ready to cut. I just want to adjust the. I think that's pretty much the depth away. All right, we're going to try cutting it with the hood off. All right, happy birthday, Halo. Here we go. Uh, are you ready? Are you ready for this? Let's try cutting it with just is. 
No, it's got to have the hood down. <sighs> okay. This might screw up the... Uh-oh. Small emergency over there. It's got to have the hood down, so... Oh, unfortunately, we can't see it like that. Um, stop. Okay. We gotta put E.T. back in the coffin. Adjust the camera angle just a little bit. So you see it happen. Can't really get you a better angle than that. Unless... See if I can move you closer to the... To the machine. Okay. Best camera angle that I could get. Really? You're seeing everything. That's everything. That's perfect. All right. Here we go. <laughs> no safety. No, nah, it wouldn't turn on. So I have to do it this way. All right. Oh, wait, stop, 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 stop. Didn't even turn it all on, okay. Uh, stop, st all right, let's try this again. Happy birthday, my dude. <laughs> oh, we're doing fine, man. We're doing fine. Hey. <laughs> All right. This is the money shot right here. Happy birthday, Halo. Wow, it didn't cut through. Didn't cut all the way through. That's that's a redo, that one. But it's a picture. I can send you the picture. <laughs> it didn't cut all the way through. I'm going to have to up the power. What's going on here? Um, I obviously... I chose the wrong... That's not what I was going for. Um, let's try hardboard. Alright, let's try that again. I did not go as planned. It almost cut through, you could see it. You could see, like, happy birthday on the, on the back. That, Ah, uh, that's a redo. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna try doing this again. On the back. Properly. Don't clip that. That was that's terrible. 
Is it in frame? Belly. Didn't cut all the way through. All right, I was I wanted to cut it all the way through, so we're doing this again. All right, try this again. Never been so proud of a penis, god damn it. I know, right? Yeah, that's definitely cut through this time. Oh yeah! Yeah, that's the frame we were talking about. It's not really gonna do anything else. <laughs> Should have added detail to it, but you know what? Happy birthday, my dude. Hope you have another good one. <laughs> Alright, here's the money shot. Happy birthday, Halo. Don't move this out of the way. Yeah, that cut through. Happy birthday, Halo. Wow, it stole the R. <laughs> the I just the I is gone. But happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna clean this up.
<laughs> this never happens. We were never here. We we're definitely not using a seventeen thousand dollar machine to. <laughs> so to draw penises. Just gonna erase the evidence on the computer. Done. We were never here. We were never here. <sighs> <laughs> Reddit reset itself. We didn't really see that on Reddit, so it's all for you, bud. You can clip that. <laughs> Go ahead and clip that for yourself before you lose it. Happy birthday. <laughs> Where were we? Um, <laughs> you're uh, most welcome. I mean, if we can't use $17,000 machines to do that, then what's the point? <laughs> It's a shame Reddit missed out on that. <laughs> hey everybody welcome back uh so uh you missed it but um we we're just wishing halo a very very special birthday Don't say I never did anything for you. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad, dude. I'm glad I could make your day. It was actually very easy on my part. It just so happens I have access to a laser cutter. And it never happened. We erased the evidence. 
Although I'm pretty sure, like, on the program, if you do control Z a couple of times, it will, uh, if you control Z a couple of times, it'll come back. But no one will know. Did you manage to clip it? I think you're, you're a mod, right? You can just download that shit. Put it on your timeline. Yeah, but um, basically, like, the reason why it failed the first time around was because I set the laser to cut through balsa, um, but obviously we needed something a little stronger than that. So the first pass didn't exactly go the way we wanted. So we set it to hardwood, and that seemed to do the trick. So Obviously, you need to be hardwood for that wood. Yeah, this is possible. Still do some work though. Man, it's almost time to go. Alright. I'm just gonna finish up by um, painting these pieces.
a bit of rust here too. Oh, hey, chat. What's up? Um, just uh, going to pull up chat on my phone here. Yo, bud, can I ask the... <laughs> oh, we're cleaning, we're cleaning some samurai armor plates. It's gotten rust underneath the paint layer, and it's forming bubbles. So I'm basically just scraping them off and, and sanding them clean. So we're doing this so that we can, um, you know, get around to painting them tomorrow. Well, painting them today so that when we come back on Friday, um, it'll be dry. And we'll be able to, like, lace them together. So as you can see, it was a bit of, like, rust damage, like here. And um, we've scraped it clean, so it's now silvery. Um, but basically, that's what we're doing. So... Um, so the thing, if to give you an idea of what we're working on, we're basically working on um, uh, Kusazuri, as it says in the title. So this is what it looks like all laced up, but we're currently like removing, taking all the lace off and replacing new ones. We're basically just, you know, restoring it. Um, yeah. And we were wishing Halo a happy birthday earlier. A shame I didn't catch it on stream, but you might be able to find it on YouTube with the YouTube link above. Um, you want to see how we say bir happy birthday around here. It'll be worth your while, I promise. So uh, we're making we're making kusazuri, or rather we're just restoring it. So this is what kusazuri is. It's um it's uh plates that hang off the the uh, the main body, um and protect your crotch basically. So they're crotch plates. In English, they're called tassets. <clears throat> and in great uh, master chip. And in great Jamie Oliver style, here are some plates I prepared earlier. So we're just trying to get these painted and cleaned. Um, trying to get these painted and cleaned. So we're just going to add another set before closing up today. Um, Oh, five of these. Oh, wait, I didn't take off the bottom. Give me a sec. Yeah, yeah, Samurai Armor. So that's what we're doing. We're making some Samurai Armor. Um, we're just currently cleaning them up. A little bit and repainting them so it looks new.
This doesn't look too bad. Oh, there's some bubbles. Sorry guys, I'm quickly doing this off camera, just cleaning it up real quick. Um, so we can get to painting them. So the ones you see in front of you are the ones I did earlier tonight. I spray cleaned them and spray painted them. So uh, I'm just trying to get this light plate ahead and do these now. As you can see, it needs a little bit of a touch up, but we, I really wanted to remove that rust because it would be bad to leave that in. Just ruin another paint job, to be honest. Cool. All right. Well, I guess we'll see if we could get the last set in. Um, but it's looking pretty good. Um, got a couple of. In fact, I think this is dry now, so I can possibly not. It's kind of sticky. I thought this would be dry for enough to me to flip it over and do another coat, but. I guess we're going to just leave it. Um, okay. Uh, We'll have a go at the last the last set. Um, uh, we won't be resetting after this. Using Bulldog Adhesion Promoter? I don't think so. I don't think we have a brand in Australia uh, like that. No, we're just using um, enamel paint. Um, I would use traditional paint, uh, traditional paints, but I don't know how to make that. So yeah, this is a set we've been working on. Um, uh, we're basically. Uh, Unlace all the old lace on it. Uh, 
so we don't need any of this old stuff. Pulling it apart, checking the uh, the rust on the plates, bringing it to life. Doesn't seem like I've cut through. Oh, I have. I don't think I've cut through this one though. Yeah, it's got some rust on there. Yep, rust pockets. Ugh. Ew. It's quite a bit on this one. Finish unlacing these first. Ah, fuck it. I saw a rust pocket on here somewhere. There's this bit here.
Got rid of that rust. Can't see anything else though. It's a bit dirty. Okay. Uh huh. Scrape that rust off.
Yep. No rust bubbles. Uh, this is a bit sketchy. Mm hmm. Rust. Hmm. Not much rust on this thing. It's still some warranting a bit of a paint job. Yeah, this is gonna have a lot. Hmm. 
A lot of the rust is happening on this side. <sighs> Maybe it'll be easier just to replace all the plates. All right, well, that's, uh, that's, that's time. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching tonight. I uh, hope you enjoyed, um, following my progress with this project. Uh, we will be back this Friday, hopefully. Hopefully we don't forget to stream. So, uh, until then, we'll see you then. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to upvote, follow. We will not be resetting again tonight. So, uh.
Yeah, good enough. Oh, I'm beat. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Nice. All right, cool. Oh, all right, I'm going to spray paint these real quick. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.